Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. Today I am bringing you the Nosy Librarian tag. I'm really fortunate that I was tagged by Gaia Athena and Sue from Sue's Book Nook. And as a huge library fan, just the name intrigued me completely. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, the original I will try and remember to leave a link to. Try, try, try. But it was by Adrian at uh, Stripped Coverlet. So go and check out the original tag as well. So question one. What has been the most influential library in your life? Now, in I don't know that any particular library has been particularly influential for me. I remember the library from the town where I lived growing up in sort of secondary school age, um, which we went to a lot. My parents took us to a lot. And then apart from that, it's the town that I go to the library in now, which I absolutely adore. To do an honest assessment, what will they title your biography? Again, I find this... this I find this question really, uh, I don't know, introspective, is that the word? It's It unsettles me a lot because it makes me think uh, about myself and what other people perceive and that's a dangerous thing. But I'm going to go with uh, the quest and failure for perfection because I think that I am quite a perfectionist and it's my, my biggest asset as well as my biggest downfall. Question three, the story from your life that you most hope your librarian never finds out. Gosh. I don't even know that I want to tell any stories on here that I wouldn't want anybody to find out. Librarians are the least of my worries, to be honest. I'm quite an open book. Um, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Too many people watch these videos who will be too scarred for life by that. So let's just move on. Question four, what is your favourite word? I don't know that I have a favourite word. There are a lot of words I like. I use the word miscreant a lot. Um, but if you would, you'd have to ask somebody in my class what words I say a lot. I have no idea. Question five: three things of which you are afraid, and one which you one one way which you would prefer not to die. Bit bit much. Uh, three things which I'm afraid of. I have a really weird phobia of, um, like tin foil, the noise that tin foil makes which is, is quite an unusual thing to be weird of, uh, to be afraid of, sorry. So tinfoil, I don't like to go underneath things, like, like at all. I remember as a child, that, like when you're playing obstacle courses and stuff, not wanting to go underneath chairs, and that stays with me now when I do Taekwondo and we're doing like warming up and going under things, I find that really stressful in case I get stuck, even though it's ridiculous. And the third one is um, like monkeys chimpanzees. I saw the thing about the woman who had a face ripped off and since then I've been scarred for life. And I'm also going to go with one way which you would prefer not to die. It's that being ripped to pieces by a chimpanzee. Please no. Question number six, your favourite book as a grade schooler? I think that's like primary, primary school age. I don't really remember. Everyone always uh, talks about books from their childhood and I think I don't I don't have a clue really. I just read anything. Matilda probably sticks with me. Um, I remember reading it in a car and reading in a car makes me feel sick so maybe that's why it sticks with me. Question seven. What have your interactions with the police been like? To be honest, few and far between. I don't think I've generally had any interactions with the police. Or maybe once and I was a victim so... They've been just fine. Question eight, all time favorite book cover. I don't have one. I'm not as much a cover reader as I think a lot of people are. Maybe, maybe that's not true. I think I read a lot on my Kindle as well, so I don't always see the covers. Question nine, how many places have you lived? Uh, way too many to even begin to count because my dad was in the army when I was growing up, so we. We lived in England when I was born, then we moved to Belgium and my sister was born and then Germany for a long time. Then we moved back to Yorkshire and then as an adult, I moved down south. So a whole bunch. I mean, I've been to seven schools, so a whole more than seven. And even, oh gosh, I even know, I think it's because of when my dad was in the army. I do get kind of like itchy feet. Is that the word where you want to move around a lot? After a few like five years, I feel really, ugh. And I often move furniture around in my house quite regularly to make it feel new and fresh. So I move a lot. And then question 10, tag 11 booktubers that you like and or admire. And why do you like and or admire them? And compliment stripped coverlet. 
Are you asking for compliments there in your own thingity bobdy whoopty? Okay, I'm not going to tag 11 because I suck at tagging. I find it really hard and really stressful. And the only way, the only strategy I've had for coping with this was to uh, steal Dane Reed's way that he tags people, which is where he goes and looks at a vi recent video of his and then tags people who have commented. And I think that's a cool idea. So I'm going to tag Heidi from My Reading Life. She always has a sort of really matter of fact, cool way of explaining stuff. So I love her. I'm going to tag Dane from Dane Reads because he is just one of the most, I don't know what the word is, detailed, consistent booktubers that I watch and I love that he does so many different things and comments and stuff. I'm going to tag Paige from Paige Green Taylor because she is awesome and loved her for a really long time. And then hopefully, oh yeah, I'm going to tag Cara from Wild Book Garden because again, she's such a wonderful person and I think her personality really comes out in her videos and she's got a new haircut so you should go and see it. Anyway, so that is my uh, most recent tag video. I've got another one coming soon because I've been tagged again and I'm trying to keep on top of them this year so look out for that. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.